Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about Docker networking. So in Docker, I mean, you have a lot of uh, networking device drivers which are available to you for your use. We'll talk about just bridge uh, networking in this video because I mean, bridge is the most simplest form of networking in Docker. It's, it's, it's also called the single host networking. So it's the networking between your host where your containers are running and your containers. As you can see, I mean, you uh, you have different kinds of uh, Docker uh, networking drivers. So bridge is one, host is one, overlay, MacVLAN and none. So we'll discuss about all these uh, in the later video. But for this video, we'll just stick to bridge, right? All right. So let me just get rid of these so I can draw my diagram. All right. So when you run basically Docker daemon, right so what it does suppose this is my host this is my host so what docker does is it creates a virtual interface on your host which is called docker zero right and we'll see all this so don't worry uh, i'll show you all this stuff right and how the networking is happening between docker zero and your container is that when you run a container what docker's daemon does it it creates a pair of virtual interfaces in the default network namespace and what it does it suppose this is my one container and this is my another container and what it does it it attaches the one virtual interface with the docker zero and the other interface with the container and then these interfaces are like they I mean they communicate between each other right and in the host network what happens is the docker zero is basically communicating with your actual interface or you can call it eth zero this is your uh, virtual uh, this is your network card which is attached to your host uh, system right so this is I mean at the very high level what the docker uh, networking in the bridge uh, when you use the bridge network looks like right so what now what we are going to do is we are going to go on the system and see this all in action so probably that will make more sense i mean rather showing you in the images doesn't make sense because then you don't actually get the real meaning so i'll show you everything on the container and a host right so let's get onto a machine and see it over there so guys, I am on a Linux system now and I have a Docker daemon running over here. So let's just check the version. So this is 19.03 version, right? So now if I do IP link, you can see that this is my physical interface and this is the virtual interface I was talking about, the Docker zero. But if you see the state is currently down, that is because we don't have any container running. So if I do Docker PS, you see that I don't have any container running, right? All right. So if I do Docker network LS, this command basically lists all the networks which are available to you. So you can see the bridge is the first one. And if you start a container without mentioning in I mean which network you want to use by default every container starts with the bridge networking all right so let's let's do one thing let's start a container so let me do docker images and we'll start a centos container so docker run dit centos all right so let's do docker ps and we have a container running and now if i do docker not docker ip link so you can see that the docker zero is in upstate and we also have a virtual interface right you can see this so this is the virtual inter so you remember i told you that it creates a pair of virtual interfaces right so one is in the docker networking namespace and other in the host networking namespace that is how the docker container is able to communicate with your host machine all right okay so next what i'm going to show you is let's do docker ps and let's do docker inspect and the container id 
so this is the part which actually I'm looking for the IP address management so you would see that the default gateway it got it is 172.17.0.1 and the IP address of this uh, container is basically 172.17.0.2 from where is this coming this is coming from uh, the bridge network so if I do docker inspect bridge I think yeah so this is you see if you come up you see that in the IP address management configuration it is already defined that any container that would start with the bridge networking would get the IP from this subnet and would default to the gateway 172.17.0.1 so that is why the container which we started got the IP from this range and had the default gateway set to 172.17.0.1 alright so with IP link uh, you already saw the part of virtual interface which is in the host networking namespace if you want to see the virtual interface in the docker sorry in the container namespace I think the command is brctl show yes brctl show you can see the docker 0 and this is the uh, no I think this is oh, this is showing the same virtual interface okay so my bad uh, actually I'm doing this after a very long time so I, I don't actually remember so my bad this is actually showing the same interface so yeah so if you want to see the virtual interface in the docker zero namespace this is basically the command brctl so if you don't find brctl command on your uh, host uh, basically centos 7 it's not there by default what you can do is you can do yum install yum install bridge utils so this is the package where this command is so you can install it right all right uh, so I don't think anything uh, is remaining let's do docker ps uh, if you want to see the virtual interface which I was talking about in the docker container network namespace you probably have to go inside the container so let's go docker exec hyphen it slash bin bash and do ip link over here so this is probably the virtual interface inside the container right all right so yeah this is all i had for this video so this is, was the simplest form of networking in docker the bridge network we'll talk about uh, the overlay network which is the most important like which is like the multi-host networking so how the containers across the multiple hosts are able to communicate with each other the networking which is basically used in docker swarm kubernetes and things like that so we'll talk about that how i mean docker makes use of the network plugins which are available to communicate among the containers across the multiple host all right so this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel uh, before leaving and yeah thank you for watching